Today I woke up in the train that is heading to Koblenz and I embraced it. With a 9 euro ticket in one hand and a mask in front of my mouth, I was ready to sit in the train for one and a half hours looking out the window and thinking about my life trajectory. Surprisingly, there were no surprises along the way, and we arrived there in no time to absorb what the city has to offer. After escaping the crowds of people that are NPCs in my first person life simulator, we were greeted with fresh air, beautiful flowers and the historical golden arches. What more can a person need? Anyway, we started heading to the city center and found our first site in sight. And right when I was complaining about how hot it was, the firefighters were on the way to thankfully cool down the weather forecast. While they were busy doing their thing, we went to check out one of the many churches in the city. Wow, wow. Let me just scooch over here. Ooh, ah. Is it just me or does it look smaller on the inside? That's what she said. And also I found this. What is this? Okay, while we pass by the fire trucks and the hot sails, in the distance we see an oasis, a fountain boat, or a boaten, one might call it, filled with animals and with a car turtle on the side. Stern handy shop? I sure hope it does. Back to the main shopping street full of people. I was surprised to see that Germany still had camps. And we found the source of the fire alarm. Their homies just needed to pick up some new shoes. We're entering the holding hand zone. And we see beautiful historical German buildings that are also under construction. Plus painted houses, statues of a woman and a policeman and more construction. Then walking along the lonely alley, holiday American style? What does that mean? No paid holidays off? Okay. Another cute looking house, a big big church, and something that looks like you can find in Latvia, with a creepy face under the clock. Then if you turn 180 degrees, you will see a cursed image of a boy promoting sweets. Is it a boy? I can't really tell actually. Who would do this? Moving along this blue mosaic building, we enter the Atern Stern street and are blessed with Madonna herself. Looking at random music boxes, mommy restaurants and reading men made me tired and thirsty for some coffee. So this is the next goal in our book. I'm looking for something cheap and on the go, because we can't stop walking. Aw, a wedding! Honestly, how can there be a summer day travel without seeing at least one couple getting married? And a constipated boy. I think we teleported to another time period since we found this super futuristic looking mall. And this whole area looks like the result of those posters that show the future planning. Don't you agree? We found the entrance to the forum. Okay, so Starbucks or Hoffer? Dang, Starbucks has a big line and their cappuccino is 4 euros? No. Before my final decision, I actually need to pee. I see it. Okay, it says to go here. What? <laughs> I need to take the elevator? Okay. I hope you're not pranking me again, sign. Oh, I need money for this. Got some money, paid the thing and now I have a voucher. Okay, not bad. Damn it, no squatting? Can this get any worse? Oh, but look, what a smart little toilet. Thank you. Now I have this 50 cent voucher. Maybe I can get a coffee with this. Or some New York nails. I guess this is a thing here? Oh, I didn't know McDonald's sold some paper goods. So I ended up going to Hoffer and I resisted my temptation to buy some pastries and I got my coffee. Mmm, pastries. Snap out of it. But the voucher cannot be used there, so I just have it now. <sighs> Oof, a coffee is hot and strong. And two minutes away, there's another hoffer? Dang. We're heading to quench our hunger. I found this place on Google and my Slavic heart couldn't resist. Turkish dumplings. You choose the filling, the sauce and the toppings and you wait. And while you wait, you can admire this pen and sip on your hidden coffee. The construction, everything... Wait, is the, the other side of it. <laughs> <laughs> we ordered a bowl with vegetarian dumplings, with a yogurt sauce and mushrooms. And the other one was beef with yogurt sauce. Sprinkle both with a bit of mint and maybe paprika and time to dive in. Mm. They look so cute and small and they are delicious. You know what they say, sharing is caring. And I'm feeling spicy, so let's spice it up. I'm in the mood to suffer. What did you just say? I regret my decision. <laughs> oh, is it too spicy, huh? You look like you're about to cry. Yeah, maybe. I'm hot on the outside and the inside. We couldn't finish the whole thing, so we came prepared to not waste anything. 
we both gave a review of 5 stars. And, drum roll please, we got a free baklava, baby! Whoa, let's go! Um, how am I supposed to eat this? So good. How could this day get any better? You're coming home with me. With a full stomach, our adventure continues. This city really likes Huffer, huh? This looks like it was made in Microsoft Word. Ooh, church! And finally, we see the Muzzle Sea and the Rhiney Rhine? And the Rhine Ocean. Hey, that's the brother of the Trier excursion bus. How cute! I've never seen an exit sign so big. Looks like you can exit Germany. But we are going to the tip of the German corner to see a dude on a horse statue and admire the beautiful fortress in the hot blazing sun. After enjoying people chilling in the sky elevator and witnessing a bachelor's party unfold, we are headed somewhere, not sure where yet. We just have to keep walking. Don't stop walking. Found some wild pistachio trees, women showering, and a castle forecourt that didn't really look like a castle. Was partially under construction and had a mini skate park in front of it. Oh my god, that's the bus! Hello bus, nice to meet you. We're heading back to the centrum, but it's too hot so we're gonna take a shady break. We're heading back to the mall to buy some water and maybe use up the 40 cent voucher at DM. Or as I like to call it, DM. They don't accept the voucher. But it also doesn't say where to use it. Apparently you have to use it in the food court? Time to window shop. You know what they say, monkey see, monkey try on. Okay, is it just me, but why are there so many ugly magnets? This was made in paint. I think maybe Photoshop didn't exist back then. This one is kind of cute, but don't look at it too close. And of course, the postcards that have pictures from 10 years ago. Anyway, after exploring all the beautiful nooks and crannies of the city, we decided to cool down with some cool looking vegan ice cream. We took kiba, which is cherry banana, and basil. Basil, you might ask? Yes, basil. So let's taste first the basil. Um, it's not bad, it's like mint, but with a hint of bolognese. So all in all, it's all right. I would not order it again, but it's a good experience. And the cherry banana is pretty good. It's like exactly what you expect. It's, a, it's basically a cherry banana sorbet. Almost. Hey, the boy again. That's cool, he's famous. As we pass by the thief key and the lady that's way too excited about tomatoes, we ended up at the train station. With a train delayed for 20 minutes, we started watching Man vs. B and ended up watching Senior Year. And as we got closer to our destination, I woke up and realized it was just a dream. 